of the past. Here, it's thunder. That is ruined. I'm made to be broken. Who goes there? Show yourselves! Wait, it's you. Quickly, in here! It's dangerous outside. You recognize us? Are you not the General's guests? Master Diviner prophesied your arrival. We were ordered to wait for you under any circumstances. Yes, the Master Diviner ordered us to remain stationed here and went to scout ahead. They're saying the disciples of Sanctus Medicus have returned. They haven't been seen for an age. The troops are anxious. It's good that you're here. The Master Diviner said the knights weren't to move out until you arrived. Please wait in the camp. We'll decide on our next steps once the Master Diviner returns. That the Cloud Knights received orders not to advance is a bad sign. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I've heard the name before. If memory serves, they're an underground sect of the Abundance that's said to have lain dormant within the Sienjo, plotting to overthrow the Alliance. The Stellaron has certainly caused Abundance-like abnormalities. Is that what motivated the Disciples to come out of the shadows? No. The Knight's main force remains intact. Something must have happened. Something we're not aware of. The Master Diviner isn't here. Let's head into camp and see what we can learn from the troops here. Good idea. Why don't you take a look around, Benefactors? My feet need a rest. Forgive me for being brief. Warfare is a dangerous business. There's no time for idle chat. We took over this place a few hours ago under the Master Diviner's command. 
It was only afterwards that we learned our enemies were none other than the disciples of Sanctus Medicus, those who worship the plagues, Arthur. Everything was going as planned. The sorcerers of the disciples and the fantastic creatures they commanded were no match for us. Then, after a while, our comrades suddenly started to slaughter one another. Curse it! What Sanctus Medicus sorcery did they use on us? The greatest fear of the Sienjo people is succumbing to our Mara-struck form around others. To do so means that we have given up on being human, lost the abomination sleeping in our immortal blood, and violated the Rainbow's admonishments. What the disciples of Sanctus Medicus did are despicable acts that every Alliance resident detests. I swear to the Arbiter, I will avenge my comrades. You want to ask questions? Uh, uh, fine. But I must be present the whole way through. This part needs to be recorded as testimony. <laughs> Finally, someone to talk to. These Cloud Knights are so serious, so boring. <laughs> What did we do? We cured our kin. <laughs> it must hurt to be trapped in such weak flesh and blood. You scum! If the order allowed, I would cut you down now. Oh, you don't understand. A short life species couldn't understand. Mara struck? Bah. It's a second life gifted by Sanctus Medicus. To eliminate the self, to achieve transcendence, a life of true freedom. I see a desire for power in your eyes. This life is too short for you, isn't it? <laughs> I can... I can help you. Don't listen. His words are poison. We're just having fun, sir. <laughs> Without the blessing of the Abundance, you short-life species would never be able to endure the transformation. So, you witnessed it too? The Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection! <laughs> Magnificent! In the Befall era, so far in the past that even long-life species cannot recall. Sanctus Medicus, the Abundance, gifted the Ambrosial Arbor to the Sienjo Lofu. With that sacred tree, humanity realized many miracles. The fallow earth, the western soapberry, the altered flesh. But that devilish archer ruined everything. They twisted right and wrong and erased Sanctus Medicus' achievements. But soon, soon we will return to the glory of the Befall Era. <laughs> You've seen the fantastic creatures that fought with us. They are only minor gifts of the Ambrosial Arbor. Shut it, rambling rodent. The Cloud Knights will root all of you out soon. That shining seed? <laughs> I've seen it. So beautiful. If you gaze into it, there's a voice inside that speaks to you. Do you still remember Cacolia? Um... <laughs> the Master said we could inject new life into the Ambrosial Arbor with it. <laughs> I didn't believe it at first. We tried many methods, spending multiple lifetimes of short life species, yet the arbor showed no signs of resurrection. But look upon it now. <laughs> Only the power of an eon can recreate the miracle. Yes, yes, the mighty Sanctus Medicus, the abundance! Master Diviner, you're back. A 
I have kept you waiting, but the deceit of the disciples is laid bare to me now. Apologies. To avoid dissemination of intelligence, the General and I kept the involvement of the Disciples to ourselves. It is a clandestine organization that seeks to overthrow the Alliance. Before the Stellaron disaster, the Disciples had remained veiled in shadow for years. Their emergence reflects their intricate connection to this calamity. The conflict is difficult, Master Diviner, but you have led your forces from the front lines and beyond in pursuit of the enemy. Admirable work. Hardly. A Diviner must acquire first-hand knowledge in order to calculate the future. Collecting intelligence in this way assists me in achieving the right answer. Wait, what's all this about a difficult conflict? The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been scheming for a long time, but our army is in no way inferior. How can things be so difficult? It would seem you came prepared. Uh, the first time we met Madame Yukong, she said something like, this is a Sienjo affair, and there's no need for the Express to get involved. And now, here we are, running around doing everything. Even the IPC takes it easier on us. Oh, let me guess, what are we up to this time? Could it be heading to the front lines? Leading the Cloud Knight charge? Well, try this on for size. Nope! I can't stand any more of this fighting. So there! <sighs> Who said you'd be heading to the battlefield? Uh, we're not? Jingyuan's orders. He said that the value of unexpected guests lies in the unexpected. The Cloud Knight's assault was to demonstrate our power to the enemy head-on. Now it is time for the unexpected. Please, come with me. After receiving the Ambrosial Arbor, the Alchemy Commission was once the Law Fu's most vital commission. After all, it was they who changed the Sienjo natives into long-life species. The op but in the end, the alchemists grew discontented and began to obsess over the manipulation of life. Research into the arbor poisoned their minds. The more they pursued it. Morning bells chime in a dream. Evening mist gathers around me. Do you see that? Or crucibles, there's still smoke coming out of them. This is where the alchemists practiced the way of immortality in ancient times. They erected elixir crucibles here to absorb the power of the arbor, turning fantasy into reality. Since the smoke from the crucibles never ceases, this place was named Evenest Mansion. An elegant name, but as far as the art of war is concerned, it's a death trap. As long as the crucibles are lit and the smoke continues to linger, we cannot get any closer. This is why the Cloud Knights lost control and became Mara struck? Indeed. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus infused the smoke that permeates this delve with medicinal pellets that elicit Mara. Unless the Cloud Knights were able to march with their breath held, they would be doomed to fall into disarray. Moreover, 
No one can know whether their comrade was about to be stricken with Mara. Is there anything better than fear for destroying the morale of an army? The Cloud Knight's first assault was just a cover. You're using the main army to attract the enemy's attention, while we douse the elixir crucibles and stop the smoke. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus renounced their century of secrecy and chose to reveal themselves, meaning they feel confident of victory. But no matter how well prepared they may be, their focus has always been the Cloud Knights. They are completely unaware of your existence and capacity, and in short, cannot be prepared against you. Indeed, this demonic vapor is a weapon targeted against the Cloud Knights. The Ambrosial Arbor is taboo for the La Fu, and the Sien Zhou Alliance has always been fiercely independent. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus could never have guessed that the General would seek outside help. They won't be prepared against short life species. Is this what General Jing Yuan meant by unexpected guests? I wouldn't hazard a guess. All I can say is that the predictions of the Stellaron Hunters were more accurate than mine. The future that Kafka seeks is becoming reality. One step at a time. I do not wish to be their puppet either. In any case, we do not walk alone and unhindered on our paths. Our choices define us and influence others. The duty of the Master Diviner is to bring luck and avoid misfortune. I don't want my choice to plunge the La Fu into a terrible future. To return to the matter at hand, only you can douse the Elixir Crucibles without being harmed by them. What say you? <sighs> Fine. I didn't hear a please, but... Seeing as we do kind of have superpowers around here... Mr. Yang, what do you think? I will come at once when the smoke dissipates. You won't be left to fend for yourselves. Too late to practice holding my breath. Only a handful of converted alchemists and healers. They can drive fantastic creatures into battle and strengthen their bodies with medicinal pellets. But they are no match for the Cloud Knights. That's why they decided to spread this demonic vapor. There is a gulf in strength between us, yet they still emerged into the open and rebelled. Something isn't right. They must be waiting for some shift in fortune. Do you not trust me? <clears throat> if I told you I wasn't certain, would you turn back on the spot? Nonsense! I'm very certain! 100%! Though, I'm sure a little reassurance wouldn't hurt. You don't know what being Marastruck actually means, do you? The healers believe that the Marastruck condition is related to memories. Unsurprisingly, long-life species have long lifespans, but there is a limit to the brain's capacity. After centuries and millennia, a long-life species' emotional threshold becomes higher and higher. Simultaneously, their memories fade and become dull, under the erosion of time, leaving behind only the most extreme and vivid recollections, which are almost guaranteed to be memories full of anguish and regret. Do you understand now? The fate of all long-life species is to no longer feel joy and happiness, left only with hatred and regret etched into the heart. Under such extreme conditions, a person's ego starts to crumble. 
And that is the beginning of the Marastra condition. Short-life species don't need to worry about this. Feel better? Phew, I do. I never had memories to begin with. No, you still don't understand. The condition isn't caused by memories, but by the emotional threshold having been... Never mind. You can regard it as a memory issue. We're still far from the Elixir Crucibles. I'm no healer, but I do know that dosage is important in the application of poisons. <laughs> Even so... Okay, I admit it. I'm terrified. I'm still young. I don't want to become Marastruck so soon. Out of the question. Jingyuan gave me authority over the Cloud Knights. If I can't stand on the front lines, then how can I succeed him as a general? <clears throat> how can I win the hearts of the people? I will come at once when the Crucibles are doused and the smoke dissipates. Even though long life species get to live forever, they aren't so different from us short life species when it comes to worries and suffering. for the concern, but I'm fine. The general commanded me to stay with you. I dare not go against military orders. Your life is more important, Miss Tingyun. Go back. We can explain to the general. <laughs> there is really no need. I've spent my years traveling the universe. Not to mention, I'm younger and stronger than I look. Even you benefactors have probably lived longer than me. <sighs> Seems like the smoke is getting thinner. Not thin enough. We need to hurry. among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past.
disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Show no mercy. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Keep at it. What was that? Keep at it. seem surprised. Indeed. The General and I knew that the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus must be hiding in the Alchemy Commission. However, without evidence, we couldn't bring charges before the Commissions. We had to wait for you to show yourselves. And now, your charges are many. Drawing Stellaron spirits into the Sienjo, resurrecting the Ambrosial Arbor, striking down our people with Mara, the Ten Lords Commission will address these transgressions during your reckoning. Crimes? If I am guilty, then all of our Sienjo ancestors are also guilty. They were the ones who accepted the blessings of the Abundance and turned their descendants into long-life species. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus are only walking on the road our ancestors once took. How is it a crime to seek ascendance? In days of old, the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor enveloped the Sienjo Lafu like a living creature. We controlled the stellar seas, and none could stand in our way. Everyone could become celestial and shift form at will. Divine miracles descended onto all nine Sanjo ships. What a glorious time that was. How far the Sanjo has fallen. We consent to be commanded by the devilish archer. Suffer continuously at the hands of the denizens of abundance. And the Ten Lords Commission even forces us to give up our immortality. Beautiful. I do not blame you for your ignorance. We were not born in the era when the 
ambrosial arbor first descended, nor did we witness its miracles. But now, we now have an opportunity to restore the ancient laws. <laughs> Forgive me for thinking you might have harbored some profound enlightenment. Yours is the same old talk of those who seek power and give up on their humanity. Our seeing Joe ancestors fought side by side with the Arbiter, laid waste to the Arbor, and established the Ten Lords Commission to lay down the lines between life and death. In doing so, we enshrined our future as human beings. Celestials? There are no Celestials on the Sien Joe. The divine miracles of the Abundance, the manipulation of life and death. Your deeds are nothing but evil. I have nothing to say to you, Master Diviner. You have already made your decision. You have discarded power. A most foolish choice. Master Diviner, allow me to show you what the Celestial... Let's make it quick. No mercy. So you are afraid of me.
with me. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. What a headache. Who's next? Let's make it quick. Let me pet your wound. Thanks, honey. Don't mess with me. Show no mercy. This is our chance. Rules are made to be broken. Why? Why? She said... Ambrosial Arbor's descent will bring us undying bodies. The one who gave us the Stellaron said that. Pantelia, the disciples of Sanctus Medicus have fulfilled our promise. You, Lord Ravager. Must do the same. Now! Quickly! Little pawn. Must you force me to intervene directly? I'm loath to flout my philosophy of destruction. <laughs> Never mind. It would seem the time has come for other means of dismantling the Xianzhou from within. <sighs> what a shame. Uh, it would have been nice to observe for a little longer. <laughs> you received the gift of abundance.
foregone conclusion. Here, the thunder! <laughs> Show no mercy! Don't mess with me! stubborn general of yours has forced me to take center stage, I'll make sure I steal the show. <laughs> My apologies for leaving so soon, but I have an appointment to keep. I'm, gonna try some I'm sure my friends here will be happy to entertain you. Disappear among the sea of butterflies! Illusions of the past! <laughs> No time to lose. Conflict is finished. Let's go. What a headache. Ah! Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. claimed to be Lord Ravager Fantilia, a name I've heard other nameless speak of in the past. She's one of seven Lord Ravagers who serve Nanook and finds pleasure in witnessing the self-destruction of mortals. She's led countless souls down a dark and hopeless path. Meaning that Ting Yun had long since fallen under the Lord Ravager's influence? I don't believe so. Fantilia revels in watching a corrupted mind eating away its host from inside out until the obliteration of both is achieved. But. 
there was no indication that Ting Yun had been misguided or manipulated. It's possible that the Ting Yun we knew wasn't her true self, but an image Fantilia devised to serve her own purposes. Ting Yun is still... I'm sorry, Marge. I can't say with any certainty where the real Ting Yun may be, or at what point she was replaced by the imposter. Without knowing where the body vanished to, it'll be tough to get an answer. At this point, it's all just conjecture and hope. But if that body belonged to the real Ting Yun, it does raise the question of why Fantilia would go to such lengths to destroy any evidence of her. Wouldn't it be more in line with her destructive nature to leave Ting Yun's remains behind as a, a display of power? I believe this to be Fantilia's goal, to sow seeds of doubt among us and ensnare us in a malevolent trap. It's clear that the sudden resurgence of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus is all connected to the Lord Ravager. Pretending to be a San Joe citizen? Planting a Stella Ron in the La Fu? All part of her plan to bring about our self-destruction. Fantilia is aiming for the Ambrosial Arbor. If she succeeds, the La Fu will be deprived of its roots, making its destruction all too easy. We must stop her. We need to take a star skiff to scale Gorge Waterscape. The Ambrosial Arbor can be sealed from that cell. Let's make haste. Imposter had the audacity to carry out her nefarious plans right under our noses. How utterly despicable. What worries me more is just how many more antimatter saboteurs are at large. It all happened so suddenly. But looking back, I think Mr. Yang was right. Ting Yun was behaving strangely. She was fascinated with the Abundance's creations. Since she was an Amicaster dispatched by the Skyfaring Commission, it's evident that there must indeed be a person with her name in the Commission. We'll have to let the Cloud Knights get to the bottom of what happened to the real Ting Yun. As for the Ting Yun who accompanied us all that way, it's like what Mr. Yang said. Her appearance was designed to sow seeds of doubt among us. We cannot allow ourselves to fall into her trap. I've reported the current situation to the Seat of Divine Foresight. He made no further contact after we communicated at the Matrix of Prescience. He said he had important matters to personally attend to. The situation stands on the edge of a precipice. We must trust in the General. It is a delve governed by the Vidyatara, supposedly an ancient oceanic region transferred from the Vidyatara home planet. After the Ambrosial Arbor was broken in two during the war, its roots were left gnarled and broken. Yet it never died. The Alliance decided to seal the Arbor within Scale Gorge Waterscape, entrust it to the High Elders of the Vidyatara, and rely on the power of Long Scions to constrain it. It has been so long. No one knows whether the seal remains. Even if it does, I doubt it will hinder that spectral Lord Ravager. Why are we still here? Things will change if we tarry too long.
had the audacity to carry out her nefarious plans right under our noses. How utterly despicable. What worries me more is... just how many more antimatter saboteurs are at large. Why are we still here? Things will change if we tarry too long. That imposter had the audacity to carry out her nefarious plans right under our noses. How, what worries me more is just how many more antimatter saboteurs are at large. with this place. <laughs> yep, the Alchemy Commission. No wonder we were getting those military broadcasts on the way over. There's something about the Cloud Knights gathering here, right? They're probably coming to fix the Stellaron problem. It's been such a long journey, but now we're finally gonna meet some Cloud Knights. I'll be back with my unit. I didn't lie to you, right? I told you I'd bring you somewhere safe, and I did. Though, we did take a bit of a detour. Before I arrived in Starskiff Haven, I had a diviner read my fortune for the journey ahead. He told me not to be concerned with the destination, but to seize my chances and travel with the current to reap the greatest harvest. Meaning? Meaning, thank you, Miss Sushang. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go report to the nearest captain. You guys can hang around here, but don't run off too far. There will be Cloud Knights coming to escort you back soon. Uh, bye for now. Messages never get sent. I wonder what's happening with those three. The Cloud Knights seem to be gathering for the Stellaron disaster. But why did Kafka want us to come here? What happened to them? And what happened to Blade? I've delayed for too long. I need more information. What's up? Go? Go where? The Lafu is under lockdown. The Cloud Knight's operation isn't over yet. Relax. When the fight is over, I'll personally escort you and Mr. Locha home. You haven't been back home for a long time, have you, Master Don Hung? As home draws nearer, so our feelings grow stronger. I can see it in your eyes. 
Do you want to leave? Then do it now. <sighs> the Cloud Knights will soon check our identities. I have somewhere else to be. I've tarried here too long. But where are you going? I'm a traveling merchant. I have one more deal to see through. Sorry, I have to catch up to my friends. Thank you for looking out for me on this journey. Both of you. I need to be careful. If I alert the knights, they might take an interest in me. Yadara Mirajako? Have these shadows of the past yet to disperse? <sighs> these memories. No. They have nothing to do with me anymore. All the elixir crucibles that the Vidyadara helped to construct contain cloud him magic. You should take this chance to learn more, young master. sort of device to help me command water. What more is there to learn? You are indeed the chosen one, with endless potential. Yet, cloud him magic is just the beginning. Shenzhou. I'm no longer one of the scions of permanence. I doubt I will be here to see you take charge. 
No need to feel grieved. For the Otara go through cycles of life and death, existing forever in this world. By the time you are the High Elder, my hatching rebirth will be complete, and I will be a child once again. Please, take care of me. Sorry, I cannot linger here. My friends have left. I must find them. You didn't heed us then, and won't heed us now. As headstrong as you always were. It seems you already made your decision. There is a vessel bound for Scale Gorge Waterscape located ahead. Changing form will help you escape. Escape. I've told you and that woman many times. I am Don Hung. I have nothing to do with your past. Don Hung. <laughs> You think another name and face can blot out the sin of your past? You... You didn't even experience death. I will force this suffering upon you, Don Hung. You will know the pain of death. <laughs> Not on my watch. You're not murdering anyone today, fugitive. You're coming with me. Jin Yuan's lapdog. Did the general not teach you to choose your battles wisely? Hey, move back. Things are about to... Huh? You... you looked so... familiar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
You... <laughs> I have news for you, boy. Behind you is none other than the traitor of the Sienjo. A criminal forever banished. The High Elder of the Vidyadara. Inviter Lune. You really thought the Stellaron Hunters were the only ones to infiltrate the Sienjo? In that case, I'll bring both of you to justice! I've heard of you in Vibiter Lune. First it was the Stellaron Hunters, now an exiled criminal has infiltrated the CM Joe. Come get me. I have no interest in stoking conflict. I came to ensure the safety of my friends. Save your excuses for the Shackling Prison! Out of the way! Do not be afraid! <laughs> Better, but I'm afraid you won't be seeing your friends. They're caught in their own bitter struggle. You're not getting away either! Is that so? <laughs> Let's heat things up then. Kafka? Lady, listen to me. Unleash the Mara! So it begins. Listen to me. Stop! Well, Blady, are you satisfied? stage for the grand entrance. Can't have you three misbehaving in front of the Lafu's hotshot general. 
Many years have passed since the two of you departed the Sienjo, and yet the circumstances of your return appear to be equally unhappy. If you still thought of me as a friend, you should have forewarned me. My task is complete. Hmm, that it is. Thank you for assisting the Sienjo in this small matter. Take this person away. I will pretend I didn't see anything this time. General, I... Now is not the time. It has been a long time, old friend. I'm not him. Hmm. I'm sorry. You cannot leave yet. Your Astral Express friends are waiting for you in Scale Gorge Waterscape. Shall we go and see them together? Lunarescent depths, a realm of singular beauty. Skelgord's waterscape is the same as when I last laid eyes on it. And here we stand so different from one another. The flesh of long-life species may be immortal, but the constant of heaven and earth eludes them. You know the Vidyata are hatching rebirth cycle, General. The waters of the ancient sea have cleansed Dan Feng of his past sin. The person that once stood here alongside you is no more. I am Dan Hung. Whether Dan Fang was hero or villain has nothing to do with me. I bore his punishment, accepted my eternal banishment without complaint. But do not let his shadow cloud your estimation of me, General. <sighs> Raising old nets only darkens the water. An exercise in unhappiness. Perhaps it is your visage, the horns on your head, or the unmistakable air of the High Elder that makes the separation nigh impossible for me. I already told you, I... You did. But to what effect? If words alone were enough to change the heart, this world would be without quarrel. If you wish to rid me of the illusion of Don Fung, you must do something for me. Before I can let Don Fung die and revoke your banishment edict, I need him to do me one final favor. I can guarantee you that when it is done, you will no longer walk in anyone's shadow aboard the Law Fu. I may not be capable of the things that Dan Feng was capable of. You must do it, or my promise will count for naught. If you wish to blame someone, blame your previous incarnation. Had he not committed that terrible sin, had the power of dragon transmutation been passed on intact, 
I would have no need to compel you. It is as I said. Here we stand so different from one another. Don Fung is no more. Now, there is only Don Hung. But I... I am the general of the Lo Fu. There are things that I wish I did not have to do, and yet I must. <laughs> Let us talk of happier tidings. The friends you made on the Express are here. Do you wish to see them? You, you brought them here? <laughs> yes. They are waiting in the Dragon Vista Rain Hall. Go. Your friends are waiting for you. I have been keeping careful watch against the abominations of abundance, the Stellaron Hunters, and the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. But I never anticipated the Antimatter Legion. The hunt is far from over, yet all the while we find ourselves at war with other evil spirits. Hmm. From this battle onward, the Alliance must fight the Legion to our dying breath. Even if it means the end of the Law Food. Our intelligence tells us that the Legion are a mad and destructive war machine. Yet they never took up arms against the Alliance. The armies of the Seven Ravagers all have their own means of destruction. They are not to be taken lightly. Lord Ravager Fantilia favors internal collapse, which is why she masterminded the Stellaron Crisis and urged the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus out of the shadows. Now that her plot has been laid bare, she has no choice but to retreat. And yet that hardly suits her philosophy of destruction. There must be something more. something. When Don Fong committed his great crime, the Ten Lords Commission advocated strongly for him to be destroyed. The Vidyadra, on the other hand, were split evenly in their favor and disfavor of the motion. <laughs> the Dragon Transmutation Inheritance was not intact after all. The senior Vidyadra hated you, yet did not dare to kill you. The Vidyadra were under great pressure. In order to placate the Ten Lords and Skyfaring Commissions, they performed an exuviation charm on Don Fong against his will. Still, they ensured that the charm contained a flaw, thinking that this would fool the Ten Lords' commission. <laughs> the senior Vidyadra were sure of their scheme, but you cannot hide fire with paper. Her hatching rebirth is complete. She left 
me all alone. Still, I wait for the day of my rebirth. Endless waiting. Waters of the ancient sea, cleanse me. Waters of the ancient sea, protect me. This world's good karma is settled. This life's misfortune is erased. Friends are taking the fight to the Legion as we speak. We need to help them. Let's go! I sense a storm. This is our chance. Here, it's thunder! Let's go. A foregone conclusion. Here is thunder. My turn. Strength. No time. This is our chance. This is our chance. There's no time to lose. Here is thunder. My turn. <laughs> you. I sent a storm. Let's make it quick. Follow my charge. Conflict is pitiless. Watch this awesome move! 
you in? Where have you been? <laughs> Forgive my late arrival, Lady Fu. We are indebted to you and your forces. The seats of divine foresight relate the battle reports to me. As for Fantilia's plan... The Ambrosial Arbor. That's her focus. Lord Ravager Fantilia's strategy was to create civil strife. Then let it consume the Sien Zhou from within. She wanted to use the Arbor to disseminate the power of the Plague's author. And turn the Lafu into a hell of undying abominations. Hmm. That is clear to me now. Friends of the Astral Express, I have brought someone with me whom I think you'll be eager to see. Huh? I is that... Don Hung? You... You are Don Hung, right? What's with the horns? It's a long story, March. It's me. So, you do have secret strength. <laughs> Let us save such reminiscence for later, shall we? My astral guess. When you first appeared on the La Fu, your stated aim was the resolution of the Stellaron Crisis. I was concerned that the Stellaron Hunters harbored ulterior motives and refused your offer. I see now that I was overly anxious. Nevertheless, it is true that the motives of the Stellaron Hunters were not what they appeared. <laughs> In order that the Express and the Sienjo fight side by side, Kafka lured you here and broadened the scope of the crisis. In doing so, she succeeded in making it clear that your sincerity is beyond doubt. The Lafu is in your debt, and I have no right to seek further assistance from you. However, as Lady Fu has explained, the appearance of Fantilia means that the situation is far from under our control. As General of the Law Fu, it would be foolish of me not to ask Don Hong and the rest of you for your strength at this critical moment. Even if the crisis on the Law Fu had nothing to do with the Stellaron, I would be willing to help. But I can't speak for the other members of my crew. Explore, understand, establish, and connect. As the crew of the Express, that's the Trailblaze Creed we follow. Still, when the journey gets tough, those words can feel far off. Fear, risk, enemies, and death are the obstacles we face in pursuit of the Creed. That's why the nameless who are able to stay the course number few indeed. Whether our destination lies before us or behind us, the decision is ours to make. Here, as on the Express, every vote counts. This is yours, Dong Hong. <laughs> How am I still one of the nameless? I stand here at the mercy of others without true freedom to speak. <sighs> but as a descendant of the Vidyadara, I will fulfill my duty to the Law Fu. <laughs> Great! 
everyone's just as heroic as when they arrived. So, what's the master plan, General? There is no master plan, only a bet. A bet on the senior Vidyadra's incomplete exuviation charm. And on Dong Hong's ability to access the memories of the High Elder. High Elder? When the Rainbow Arbiter severed the Ambrosial Arbor, remnants of the curse of the Plague's author lingered. In order to make the stemming of those remnants a possibility, the La Fu invoked the power of the Scions of Permanence. Under the direction of the High Elder, the Vidyadara guided the waters of the ancient sea to flood the Scale Gorge Waterscape Delve and contain the Arbor to commemorate this magnificent feat and sacrifice, the Alliance erected the Dragon Vista Rain Monument, a Vidyadora statue. Ah, oh, it looks so much like Don Hong. I wonder if... The statue... Is that... Don Hung's brother? <laughs> I see why you might think so. These events occurred a long time ago. Yet successive generations of High Elders have not differed greatly in their appearance. That is, until the current generation. The most recent successor did not inherit the same level of power. And their appearance is that of a child. Do you understand, Don Hong? Since Dong Fong perished, the La Fu Vidyadra have no longer had an individual capable of performing such feats. But you, who once kept watch over the arbor, should be able to open a way through to that great tree. What happens next is in your hands. the general it seemed like you were his prisoner there i was thinking up a plan to kidnap you and it turns out the two of you are old buddies so what made you suddenly decide to come down from the express Aww, how sweet but mr yang and i have been holding our own we're pretty much Sienjo heroes at this point. Anyway, it's great to have you with us, Don Hung. And by Lune's reincarnation. Dong Hong, correct? I've heard your name before. Your name was only erased from the public eye. But as the Master Diviner, I know, and should know, all the records of years gone by. Such archives are of great importance in times of need. I was not born in the heroic and extraordinary era of the High Cloud Quintet. To have seen those legends with my own eyes. Your appearance closely matches the depiction in the annals. Does Vidyadara reincarnation really entail a complete transformation? A new life? I knew you'd come. 
When we first mentioned the Sienjo, there was a sad look in your eyes. They may have banished you, but the Lawfu is still your home. You're a member of the Express Crew, Don Hung. Let's settle this matter as soon as possible. Our journey doesn't end here. Has coming here triggered your memory? Release your full potential. The power you carry is the key to opening a way through to the Ambrosial Arbor. that Scale Gorge Waterscape was once the location of Dragon Palace. Small wonder. Look at all these submerged structures. I was fortunate enough to be here during the Shuhu upheaval period. I witnessed this place in its prime. An age passed. The palace was left in ruins, and the Vidyadra used their sacred homeland to imprison the arbor. The Lofu and the Sienjo are greatly indebted to them. <laughs> Lady Fu. Here, General. Remain here. Lead the Cloud Knights in defense of this passage. We must prevent further incidents. Jing Yuan. General, are you planning to face Dantilia alone? I wouldn't say so. I'll be counting on a few friends for support. General, don't cast us aside. We're willing to go with you. Yes, General. We may not be the mightiest force, but it's our duty as Cloud Knights to protect the Sienjo. 
How can we let Outworlders face the danger while we stay behind the lines? With your permission, sir, allow me to lead the way. I understand your sentiments, soldiers. But the adversary ahead of us is not an abomination of abundance. They are a Lord Ravager of the Antimatter Legion. Crossing this line will bring you into the conflict between the Rainbow Arbiter and the Ruin Author. You have a more important duty. Cloud Knight's attention! After I enter the Ambrosial Arbor, and if the seawater returns to its original state, you must withdraw immediately and seal off the delve once more. The Master Diviner will lead you. Yes, General! Lady Fu, if I am unable to return, I entrust you with the important task of relaying the full account to the other Sienjo ships. I trust you will be here to reissue the order in person. But whatever the outcome, I will do as you command and honor the mission. <laughs> Spoken like a true general. decision is made. That is the course we must take. I... Very well. In that case, I will report you to the Preceptors and have you stripped of the name and power of the High Elder. This must be... the first High Elder that accepted the mission to quell the Ambrosial Arbor. According to tradition, from then on, Successive High Elders were obliged to return to the Dragon Vista Rain Hall. They would guide the tides of the ancient sea to guard and strengthen the Arbor Seal. Do you remember now? Yes. Reverence to the Three Talents, the path to the Great Roots. It's the way to the Root Depths. to the three talons. What the heck does that mean? Don't worry about it. Just follow me. Oh, what a huge palace. Completely abandoned. That must have been difficult for them. Imagine how upset you'd be if you had to abandon me. <sighs> for the Vidyatara? It must have been a necessary sacrifice. This is one of the places mentioned in the riddle. One of the three talents. If we can break the seal here, we'll be a step closer to the roots of the arbor. Those seals you mentioned, do you mean these weird-looking stone lanterns? That's right. 
From what I recall, we have to touch these stone lanterns in a particular sequence to unlock the seals in this area. In that case, then, I'll leave it to you. I'll do my best. The depth of Fentilia's infiltration, along with her meticulous planning, makes her extremely difficult to guard against. The Cloud Knights will carry out an investigation, but for now, our most pressing matter is to put a stop to Fentilia's scheme. This seal was already on the verge of breaking 
for the impartial Arpus resurrection. There are abominations up ahead. Careful, everyone.
Lucky bag. voice but what about the other person so familiar you to refrain from interfering with the Vidyatara. Huh? The Vidyatara? You mean these pearls will turn into people? When the life of a Vidyatara is over, they return to the ancient sea and form a shell before emerging anew. This is the hatching rebirth cycle.
position. is here. As the day is almost gone, return alone to water song. Beneath the waves and silver shell, await new life that time will tell. The worldly limit of the Vidyatva is reached after seven centuries. And they return to the ancient sea and form a shell, awaiting the next hatching rebirth. This mural is pretty interesting. Looks like time hasn't had any effect on it. This mural must be related to the others here. It tells the story of the Vidyadara self-reincarnation, from hatching rebirth in the ancient sea, to the return to that same sea as the cycle begins again. Hey, do you think this could be related to the seals? Perhaps. Perhaps? Uh, fair enough racking your brains all the time. I'm struggling to keep track. What seems to be the problem, Frank? Hmm. It would appear the seals have you at a loss. 
Could the murals in our vicinity be related to the seals? Our reincarnation's greatest cost, the wisdom of a past life lost, yet through the teachings of our kind, unto the young again consigned. The mural depicts the Vidyadhara being guided by their elder, a wiser kin after their rebirth. From the ancient sea rebirth, to walk again on solid earth. This mural describes the Vidyadhara hatching rebirth in the lunarescent depths, the beginning of self-reincarnation. People sing the hymn of clouds, and dance to water's cherished sounds. And high above the dragon flies, to each is destined different skies. This mural portrays the Vidyadhara young. They acquire knowledge and depart for different places on the Shenzhou, thereby dedicating themselves to serving the Alliance. Keep at it. What seems to be the problem, Frank? Hmm. It would appear the seals have you at a loss. Could the murals in our vicinity be related to the seals?
Young master, must we really forsake Skillboard to escape? Can you forgive me, you again? I cannot say, young master. I feel resentment in my heart. But there are also feelings that cannot put into words. say that the Sinjo offered us this place, that we hailed from another world. Is it time to repay them? It is time to repay them. These are the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor, where the vestiges of abundance lie. Reverence to the Three Talents, the path to the Great Roots. This is it. Under the power of the High Elder, the Arbor's roots have formed into the image of a dragon. Break the final seal. I hope everyone is prepared. The Law Fu chosen to grace me with his presence. Ah, that witch! She was here waiting for us the whole time! Show yourself, Fantilia! And the benefactors, too! Oh, patience, patience. Uh, let me make myself presentable. Now I see why the disciples of Sanctus Medicus hold themselves in such high regard. The Arbor's traces really do possess the power of metamorphosis and resurrection. All of you, ready yourselves. Don Hong, guard my back. I'm counting on you. Understood. Antilia, what is she doing? Benefactors, behold. 
levels of abundance live up to the name. Let's see if I can put it to use. The very power that brought the Sienjo long life, I will use to bring destruction. Mantilia has usurped the power of the arbor. All of you, focus on destroying the phantom flowers. I'll go for the body. Victory! Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! My turn! <laughs> Here! Let's make it quick. I am the vanguard of the hunt. Vanquish the abomination! will end in destruction 
and with it, the abundance and the hunt will disappear. Try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move! be broken! The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision! For the master strong. Show no mercy. Try that again. <laughs> yeah. Are we still ants to you, Fantilia? So much effort to crush us, and met with so little success. I wonder what the other ravagers think. as if you can't wait to be a
Benefactors, behold this beautiful body. The miracles of abundance live up to the name. Let's see if I can put it. The good years. chosen to grace me with his presence. Ah, uh, that witch! She was here waiting for us the whole time! Show yourself, Fantilia! And the benefactors, too! Oh, patience, patience. Uh, let me make myself presentable. Now I see why the disciples of Sanctus Medicus hold themselves in such high regard. The Arbor's traces really do possess the power of metamorphosis and resurrection. All of you, ready yourselves. Fantilia, what is she doing? Benefactors, 
Behold this beautiful body. The miracles of abundance live up to the name. Let's see if I can put it to good use. The very power that brought the Sienja long life, I will use to create destruction. Antilia has usurped the power of the arbor. All of you, focus on destroying the phantom flowers. I'll go for the body. You have the worst luck running into me. <laughs> yes! Let's make it quick.
Show no mercy. Let's make it quick.
finally remembered your duty of watching over the arbor? Watch this awesome move! 
through. I'm made to be broken. General into the Void Ranger would cast the law crew back into chaos. Destruction works in fascinating ways. What are you? was a body stolen on a whim. And you, how much longer can you last? The destruction of the Sienjo is nigh. <laughs> Be gone, power of destruction. Tell the Legion that the vengeance of the hunt will fall upon them. <laughs> <laughs> and it would seem the two of us can still coordinate our efforts.
Ventilia, a truly fearsome enemy. If she hadn't attempted to turn me into a pawn of destruction, I'm afraid victory would have been far from certain. <clears throat> Fantilia had established a link between me and herself. Her well-timed strike gravely injured her. Thus, her connection to the Arbor was severed. It takes more than that to destroy an emanator of destruction. Still. Fantilia won't be stirring up trouble anytime soon. Don't worry about her infecting the arbor again. It's just that sealing the Stellaron is going to take some time. Leave that to the Master Diviner. Hmm. I'm afraid I may be <laughs> somewhat spent. Uh, General, keep those eyes open. Now's not the time to fall asleep. Uh, uh, hey, wake up! now. It's getting late. 
Where to now? People who buy that think smart on their races. Their 